just out testing the new uh, GoPro Hero 9 Black. I think the quality of the videos will be greatly enhanced thanks to this new camera. You guys can see where I'm heading. Yeah, so hard to believe this is Christmas in Newfoundland and this is what what you see a bit of snow out in the fields but here in the woods no snow eh uh, don't remember that I was probably about five years old when that happened last time so I'm liking really liking the new camera and it's good that you can see the front facing screen hopefully this will get some improved video content for the channel some wind wind damage we got so much heavy winds here just blows down all the trees blows the tops off the trees it's, it's unbelievable but there's a spot over here where there should be some snow and I'm hoping to, to go over here and see uh, a spot where the uh, rabbits hopefully are running well, I didn't have to go far. Here I have a set of rabbit tracks there in the center of the screen. And a set of squirrel tracks there. And I just stopped recording. I was just over here. We also have the rabbit crossing the trail here a couple times. And going up and down the trail. But I'm, I'm not going to set any snares here because uh, this this is where uh, we have a, uh, a feral cat and he, he's doing a really good job keeping the squirrels and the mice and the rats and everything at bay around the house so I'm definitely definitely not gonna put out any snares and risk catching him so close to home But I think I'm going to like the quality of video that this produces. You can see another set of rabbit tracks right there. Good to see. The spot I wanted to check is just up over here on the, on the new trail that I cut. See? Right down in there. There are a few rabbits around. But... I don't know more rabbit tracks there but I don't know if I want to catch the rabbits in this area and that's because we're, after going through a couple of years of low rabbit population and although I'm rabbit hungry I would love to catch go out and catch a rabbit I don't know if I want to do it here so close to home I would love to see these rabbits come back like they were a few years ago so this is that new trail that had opened up it's looking really good I still need to get the medium odd there's nothing available in Canada right now Rabbit tracks going down the trail. There's no media mod available in Canada right now for the Hero 9. But the reason, and I've read, I've read and watched a lot of reports, 
and there's mixed views on that media mod but the one reason why I want to get it is because it's a great housing for putting uh, another mic system on for the GoPro and what I want to do is get the Rode Wireless Go with a little lavalier mic so you can see that the rabbit had crossed here he was over here and there's a little rabbit button and he was over by the birches over there and some rabbit buttons over there so good to see that the rabbit or rabbits are around and like I said I don't know if I want to try catching any so this is the the trail where it goes on from right over here from right there it starts to go uphill it's flat right to there as you can see but from there up is all uphill for the next six kilometers anyways this is just a, a quick uh, test of the GoPro Hero 9 uh, lots of new content to come been very slow with the uploads still have the Cougar updates where the actual pins are on the map to come and I'm going to do a Kawasaki review after I think it's my third season with the Kawasaki Mule Pro FXR so I'll uh, I'll tell you my likes and my dislikes I'll be very honest and um, but overall I think I got I can't even remember 467 hours on the mule now because it, it doesn't go in miles or kilometers it goes based on hours of, of operation I've got over 460 seven hours on it so I, I should be able to give you a good accurate review everything's freezing up here but currently it's I think something like plus six here on uh, December 25th and it's going up to a plus nine today so the snow that we do have and I think a plus eight tomorrow the snow that we do have will probably uh, vanish so this evening before it goes I'm gonna keep a close eye on it and before it totally disappears I might go back here and mark a couple of uh, good rabbit trails that I could use and catch a catch a couple of rabbits uh, so I'm, I'm rabbit hungry caught a couple so far the year and that was at the beginning I already showed the video on that and I took up all my snares because I didn't like the amount of rabbit sign that I was seeing so what I'm gonna do is uh, catch a couple for a feed and then just just let them repopulating hopefully the uh, pine martin numbers drop off in this area when because the, the rabbits have dipped hopefully they, their numbers will dip as well or they'll move off in other areas and we can get a really good healthy population of rabbit back here so anyway back in here we're there's no snow. Liking the GoPro Hero 9, gonna like it a lot better when I get the wind mics and all that stuff for it. So, my wife said it's the gift that keeps on giving. And she's not wrong. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. And uh, there'll be a lot more video content coming out shortly. Okay, talk to you later. Loving the new uh, GoPro 
Hero 9 and, and the footage that I can get with it. Very, very pleased so far with the, uh, with the camera. It's hard to believe that it's uh, it's the 25th of December here in Newfoundland. And, and check this out. <laughs> this this is this is unheard of. Let's look and see if we see a couple spots out here where we can set a couple rabbit snares. I never see the uh, feral cat tracks back this far so I feel confident in setting some uh, some snares back here but uh, hope everybody had a really good Christmas some coyote tracks there and some old rabbit across the creek here. Coyote's gone this way. And the rabbit goes that way. Mr. Coyote. You can see the uh, the claw marks, eh? He's been running around here a bit. A fair bit, actually. One of these days I'm going to get back into trapping. I just find that the, the prices and stuff are, are too low and... You know... So that things to do. So when I get a little bit more free time, I will definitely start hitting the the trapping again. I know probably probably a lot of you would like like to see me do some more trapping. With any of coyote sign out here though. Oh, maybe that's why. I see somebody had thrown out some moose hide. There you go. See all the coyote tracks? This is why. Coyote tracks here everywhere. They're coming in here. And feeding on this if you're looking for moose this time of year this is the kind of vegetation that I would definitely focus upon I don't know what it's called but I tell you it's like moose crack they come in here and they chew the tops off of everything Moose feed heavily upon this this time of year. And when you find this in the woods, you find lots of moose sign. So if you're still hunting moose and it's late in the season here in Newfoundland, I would definitely be looking for those little shrubs. And I have no idea what they're called. However, I do know the moose love them. The old trail is looking good. Just gonna take a little walk up over here, up over the hill. And see what we have for a rabbit sign up here. 
Always caught rabbits on that trail. Okay, I see some. We had a lot of milk today. I see where the rabbits went in through there. Running up and down the trail here. See where they cross right there. More out of sign. Oh. A lot more rabbit sign here. Yeah, right through there. And right down through there. Nice. I was out here just a, uh, a couple of hours ago. And there was a lot of snow here. And ice. Look what has happened in just a couple of hours. 25th of December, Christmas Day. And we got an incredible amount of snow melt happening here. Somebody asked me to do a update video on the uh, side by side. And I, and I will, uh, perhaps tomorrow I'll pull it aside and just do a quick walk around and tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, uh, what I would change, what I think they should change. Uh, I'll start from the uh, front and, and work my way right to the back. Okay, it's, it's time for me to, uh, to plug in the, the Christmas lights for tonight. And uh, I'll show you if you coil up your, your uh, electrical cord. Can't remember if that's a 50 footer or a 100 footer. But if you coil up right, I'll show you how quick and simple and easy it is to, to uncoil it. So I just take my, uh, my coil here and give it a toss. And just that quick, that simple, that easy, it's, uh, it's uncoiled. This would be, yeah, this one probably be a hundred footer. See, just give it a toss. And perfectly uncoiled from here to the garage. Well, half of it. Just unplug it now and run it to the, run it to the lights. <laughs> 